Well, back with the breakfast and plus tv africa just quickly would we'll be looking at the issue of uh, global recycling which is an international you know uh day and awareness we have a guest joining us this morning for lake salau uh, coordinator of green recovery nigeria right here in lagos for it's good to have you join us this morning thank you so much thank you for having me yes please so we know that, you know, on the 18th of March, uh, it's been marked out as an annual event and uh, it's the Global Recycling Day, which is, like I mentioned, with the aim of spreading awareness about the rapid pace at which natural resources are depleting and the need for recycling it, you know, to slowing it down or slowing uh, all the hazard that probably might just be happening to the environment. Uh, I'd like you to quickly share your thoughts on this, juxtaposing that with the fact that, you know, just a tiny fraction of waste is recycled in Nigeria for a country where you have over 200 million plus uh, consumers. Yes, um, really, uh, recycling is um, a sustainable way of uh, reducing waste. Uh, the most uh, common one that we are all familiar with is uh, plastic waste. So the more we are able to reduce uh, the plastic waste in the environment by recycling them into more useful pro, uh, products, uh, the better for the environment, the better for everyone, and even the uh, aesthetics. You know, when you see this plastic waste lying on our, uh, our beaches, lying everywhere in the drainages, causing flooding, you'll appreciate uh, the importance of Re recycling this uh, waste, you know, to ensure that uh, at least they don't get to the dump site, they don't get to where uh, our oceans, they don't get to the drainages, and we make good use of them by saving uh, more natural resources that will otherwise uh, constitute a nuisance uh, to to the environment. Mm. Okay, but so um, in what ways can we can we people you know jump on the recycling train? I mean. Um, for people who have uh, who generate waste on a daily basis, you know, in Nigeria it's a different ball game. So, how is it possible uh, for the average man or woman on the street to to recycle uh, their waste, and how can we do that? Okay, so uh, practically, it's not uh, e uh, it's not uh, easy for individuals to do the recycling themselves because it involves some uh, industrial processes, but. At individual level, we can learn to sort our waste. There are people who collect plastic waste from households, from uh, collection centers, and then aggregate them for people who will eventually uh, uh, process this plastic waste or any other waste, uh, as the case may be. It's not only plastic. For instance, we also have uh, wood waste that can also be processed into uh, reusable uh, particle boards and uh, some other useful uh, products. So what we should be advocating for is waste select, uh, uh, separation at household level, where people separate their recyclable waste from the general waste, so that people who collect this waste for recycling will be able to easily pick them up as separated waste and then take them to where they can be recycled. And then uh, there are a lot of, uh, there is a recycling association in, the, in Nigeria and they have what they call the collectors. Those are people who pick them either from dump sites or households. And then they have who they, those that they call the aggregators, like the collection centers, where these people take them to. And then from the aggregators, then it goes into those uh, uh, we'll take them for, for processing. So at individual level, we should be looking at awareness to encourage people to separate their waste. And it's not just separating the waste, it's also th there is monetary involvement because people who collect this waste product also pay tokens uh, for, for the waste. So we need to just create the necessary awareness for people to know that there is wealth in the waste that they are generating and not everything should end up in their waste bins. They should separate those that can be recycled from those that cannot be recycled. So, but um, let's talk about the awareness and, you know, the structure. Do you think that as a country, we have done enough in terms of awareness mm -hmm. and creating structures to ensure that no. uh, we're recycling? 
No, I don't think we've done enough awareness. Uh, like in most, uh, in Western world, for instance, it's uh, for every household you have different type of bins for uh, different types of waste. We've not gotten to that stage in Nigeria, and I think there is need for policy to ensure that our, at household level, you have different waste collection bins for different purposes, uh, with the ultimate aim to encourage recycling, give people, oh, this color-coded bin, maybe blue for, for, for plastic waste, uh, maybe uh, green for bottles, and something like that, that is known by everyone, and then it helps everyone to be able to uh, partake actively in waste separation from household level before it gets to the with, uh, the, the dump, uh, dump site. So I think we need to do a lot of awareness creation on this, but with necessary policies to ensure that it, it's not just uh, an obligation that people are compelled to separate their waste from household level. So it's all about the right policies and a lot of awareness uh, creation uh, from the government agencies. All right, uh, very, very important. Um, we want to thank you very much for your time, Madam. Uh, as the world is marking a uh, recycling day, um, you've given us some information that uh, I'm sure if we put to, uh, to use, uh, we'll make our world a better day, especially in these days of going green. And we look forward to having you uh, in subsequent discussions as we look at the issue of environmental awareness, sustainability, and all that. For Lake Salau is the coordinator of Green Recovery Nigeria, and she's been a guest on a second discussion right here on the breakfast. Thank you, madam, for your time. Thank you for having me. Well, that's the size of our conversation this morning on The Breakfast. We really appreciate the fact that you've been with us 7 a.m. up until this point. Let's return tomorrow and do the same time. It's all right to join the conversation if you missed out on any part of it. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. And on the other hand, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Bopo. Do have a great morning. It's been, been quite a very uh, heated one today. Very, the issues of the country are seriously, seriously uh, uh, tough you know, to handle. And we look forward to uh, seeing the process run its full course. And you can be sure uh, that we here at Plus TV Africa will always translate the passion that is felt out there and bring it to the studio so that we can, we can give the best program. My name is Kofi Bartos. Thank you very much for your time. We'll return tomorrow.